there are more effective ways than resolutions to bring about change. Hello and welcome to this week's Wild Spirits News. My name is Sevilla and today I'll tell you resolutions suck. Try this instead. It's getting close to the time of the year where humanity seems to fall into two groups. Those who fervently make New Year's resolutions and the rest of them who laugh at them and say that never, that never works anyway. And they think resolutions are really silly. To be quite honest, experience tends to favor the second group. Gym memberships that were started in January are for the most part no longer used by the end of February. As people fall back into their old habits and everything stays as it was until the next new year comes around and they try all over again. There is a third way though. And your mission today is to learn why resolutions suck and what to do instead. Task number one is the problem with resolutions. If you expect me to say that people just have no willpower and are weak, then you don't know me very well. In fact, it is none of your fault if you fall off the wagon or if you have ever in your life and not just at New Year's started to make a change and not managed to stick with it. In fact, our modern life makes it as hard for us as possible to actually create change. And if you add to this the fact that humans are indeed creatures of habit, and it becomes almost impossible. However, this doesn't mean that you're doomed to never change at all. Task number two is do this instead. Now, there are very effective, proven ways to create change in one's life. The disciplines of psych psychology and sociology have delivered the science behind it and both psychologists and coaches, the practical experience. Here's a five step plan. Number one is look over your 2022 and determine the things that went right. This is very important in order to counteract our evolutionary negativity bias. Step two is find things in 2022 or in your life in general that you would like to change and pinpoint those. Step number three is to determine the first step that you would have to do for each of these things that you wish to change. The very first step, no, resist the temptation to figure out the whole path to your goal. That's going to keep you in planning and making lists forever. Just the first step for each of the things that you wish to change. The best bonus points if you write it down. If you put anything in writing, it's much more powerful. It's also a psychology thing. Number four is implement this first step within 24 hours of determining it, which means do it now, do it immediately. The moment you write it down, don't say, oh, this would be the first step and now I'll go and I'll pick up this list again four weeks from now. No, you do this step, you, you, you write down what the first step would be and then you schedule it or you do it immediately so that it will be done within 24 hours. And the fifth step is celebrate like crazy. As soon as you have implemented it, this, this first step, celebrate yourself and be really proud of yourself because you're already like 98% ahead of the masses with this. And what you do the day after is repeat steps three to five and keep repeating them until you're happy, until you where you want to be. If at any point you feel you still feel resistance or you, you things are not going so well, or you're not progressing as well as you'd like, consider the help of a professional. This is what trained coaches do. Look for some coach that you resonate with. See that they have a qualification and don't just call themselves a coach and sign up with them. You won't know yourself because they're the experts in making change processes effortless. This brings me to task number three, which is as usual, let me know. Leave a comment below the video and tell me what you think of this. Do you do New Year's resolutions or do you think it's all a humbug? Are you going to maybe make some plans now? I would love to hear what you think and I'll reply to every comment. If you would like some more, consider joining the community of Wild Spirits by going to wildspiritscoaching.com and filling in that little form there. 
You'll get one email per week, 100% spam free with additional information and articles and recommendations of books and other resources. And sometimes you get exclusive offers that are only for my subscribers that nobody else ever gets to see. So go to wildspiritscoaching.com and sign up, or you can Google Wild Spirits Coaching, that'll get you to the website as well. Thank you for watching.